What is she for? Hi guys, this was the stinging question that Yvette Cooper had for the Home Office Minister as she couldn't pose her questions to the Home Secretary Suella Braverman on Monday. Why? God knows, she refused to turn up to face MPs in the House of Commons. Cooper listed failure after failure of the Home Secretary, and I believe pivoted to something that will prick up the ears of the right wing, the use of hotels when it comes to accommodating asylum seekers. Have a listen to what she had to say. But I thank the Minister, Immigration Minister for the information he's given us. I have to say, why is the Home Secretary not here? Yeah. This is supposed to be her top priority. We've had two UQs, a, dis a debate and this statement in the last few weeks on this chaos, and she hasn't done any of them. You have to ask, what is she for? She obviously doesn't have a grip, and she has made this chaos worse. The government has failed to stop the proliferation of criminal gangs in the Channel, is still refusing to adopt Labour's proposal for a new National Crime Agency unit to target the gangs, mm. and has failed to sort out the chaos in asylum decision-making, so they are only taking around half as many as six years ago, uh, even though they have more staff, and just 2% of last year's small boat cases have been decided, creating a backlog of nearly 100,000 people waiting more than six months for a decision, compared to just 4,000 when they took office, all of which has led to a completely inappropriate use of hotels at the last minute with no proper information for local councils and no proper information for public health officials. Okay. I'm not going to go into the detail of what she's saying here, but I'm going to look at it from a political point of view. And I think this is really undermining the Conservatives when it comes to an issue that Labour are supposed to be trailing the Conservatives on, that being immigration. I don't agree with all the things she's saying here, but from, as I said, from a political point of view, the, the Labour Party understand that they have to undermine the Conservatives on a whole range of issues like uh, Brexit and immigration in particular because they know that the public don't trust Labour on this issue so they have to instead of convince the public that they are the ones to be to be trusted they have to convince the the public that the Conservatives cannot be trusted and uh, you know Suella Braveman doesn't turn up to answer questions it doesn't look very good even if you support the Conservatives, even if you think Suella Braverman is doing a wonderful job, why isn't she turning up to answer questions? Why isn't she, you know, putting a, a face to the to the government when it comes to this particular issue of immigration? The Labour Party understand, you know, there are people very concerned within their constituency, and I use this word, this this word concerned is doing a lot of heavy lifting here. Um, what I'm talking about, racists and bigots, basically. The Labour Party know that there are those people who are banging on about immigration, banging on about hotels and asylum seekers going into hotels, not because they care about the asylum seekers, but they, uh, they care about the hotels, it seems, in some cases, more than the asylum seekers. And um, the Labour Party know that these people are angry, and you need to channel that anger towards the Conservative Party and not towards yourself. Um, Labour are not in power, of course, so they can pretty much uh, promise the moon and the stars on this particular issue. And it may work. They may convince uh, a certain section of society to turn their backs on the Conservatives and perhaps vote for the Labour Party. But you can't push this too hard because there are alternatives to the Conservative Party, of course being UKIP, uh, Reform UK or whatever. But if the, if the Labour Party are able to bring people back who voted for Boris Johnson in 2019 back to the Labour Party, then they'll be satisfied. They're not going to turn UKIPers over to Labour, but they can perhaps turn people who believed in getting Brexit done and that Brexit would end immigration or whatever. And these people, these people obviously feel betrayed by the Tories. Um, if the, the Labour Party can chip away at them, it's likely that they will win in the next election. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.